Hello and welcome to the CTO show with Mehmet. My name is Mehmet and in each episode I will be exploring the latest trends, insights and strategies in topics like cybersecurity, digital transformation, emerging tech, startups and entrepreneurship. From thought leaders and innovators to entrepreneurs and founders, we will hear from experts across a wide range of industries who are driving change and making an impact in the world of tech and business. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. Welcome back. Today, I'm bringing a very interesting topic, which we didn't cover before. It's one of the emerging technologies that we are seeing. And it's actually, we can consider it a rising sector, prop tech or property technology. So sit back, relax, and join me as we journey through the past, present, and future of this transformative industry. Today, we will be talking, as I said, about prop tech. This sector is encompassing the world of real estate and technology, and it's redefining how we buy, sell, and interact with our homes and workspaces. But let's see where did it all start. The history of prop tech can be traced back to the late 90s, early 2000s, with the advancement of online listing sites like in the US, Realtor.com and Zillow. Here in our region, like Dubizel was one of the first platform that appeared and then the rest came up like Property Finder, Bayou.com and so on. These platforms, actually, they had done a revolution in the property search process, taking from, you know, a very manual scanning of classifieds to a convenient online browsing method. Fast forward to 2008, the market crash caused a significant shift in the real estate landscape, leading to a surge of tech innovation aiming to increase transparency and efficiency in the industry. This period gave birth to platforms like Redfin and Trulia in the US. Now, the current status of PropTech is truly exciting. In 2021, Global prop tech investments exceeded $24 billion, a stark increase from just $1 billion in 2012. So in just less than a 10 year, from $1 billion to $24 billion, according to Crunchbase. Today, prop tech startups are reimagining real estate across various verticals, from property management to leasing, to real estate fintech and construction. And the beauty is that also we are seeing merging of different technologies, which I will come in a short moment. An example of groundbreaking startup is a startup called Caterra, aiming to optimize construction processes through technology. Then there is also Open Door, which is a disrupting the way properties are bought and sold, offering digital instant selling options. Now, you might be wondering, where is all this heading? Well, the future of prop tech is set to intersect, as I said, with emerging technologies such as AI, blockchain, and IoT. AI is making headway in the real estate industry with applications like predictive analytics of property values, personalization in property search, and even chatbots for customer service. This is also being possible because the amount of data that everyone has access to it now. So. We are starting to see even here locally in the UAE, in Dubai, some portals where the transparency is key. And this is very good for AI. The more data and unbiased data, real data we have, the better results that we will have in the future. From blockchain perspective, on the other hand, I believe blockchain will be able to offer the potential of increased transparency, reduced fraud, and efficient transaction processes. There are actually some companies like Propy who are pioneering the space by enabling blockchain recorded property transactions. Here in the UAE and in Dubai, I know that there are a lot of talks about integrating a smart contract into this process. So when you buy a property, your title deed actually would be stored in the blockchain. When it comes to the Internet of Things, oh, we've seen a lot of search in smart homes, buildings, improving energy efficiency, security, and convenience. Like 
There are a lot of companies. The most famous one is Nest, and there's also Verdigris, who are leading the change over there. In fact, according to a report by Markets and Markets, the smart home market is estimated to reach $135 billion by 2025, indicating a promising future for IoT in real estate. But remember, this innovation is not happening in a vacuum. As PropTech continues to evolve, it will inevitably intersect with other also rising tech sectors like health tech, fintech, by creating an integrated ecosystem of technology that enhances our everyday lives. So expect to see more intersections other than just the ones that we mentioned. So what does all this mean for you? Whether you are a tenant, homeowner, real estate professional, or tech enthusiast, the rise of prop tech signifies a shift towards a more transparent, efficient, and connected world of real estate. It's clear that prop tech is not just a temporary trend, but a sustainable shift that is fundamentally changing the way we interact with properties. The opportunities are vast and the potential for innovation is virtually limitless. This transformation is affecting all aspects of real estate industry. For example, the role of real estate agents is evolving and now with AI, it will be augmented actually. With more access to information and online services, Agents are becoming more like consultants providing insights and advice that go beyond traditional buying and selling. For architects and builders, new construction technologies are helping to streamline and enhance the design and building process. And for renters and buyers, digital platforms are making it easier than ever to find and secure properties. Even landlords and property managers are benefiting from PropTech. Digital tools are making property management more efficient, helping with everything from tenant screening to rent collection and maintenance requests. But with all these advancements, it's important to consider the potential challenges as well. Questions like data privacy, affordability, and the digital drive are becoming increasingly relevant. As we embrace these new technologies, we must also ensure they are being used responsibly and ethically. That's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this episode, which we tried to cover some of the aspects of PropTech. And maybe in the future, we will have an interview with a startup founder or a company founder who are in this space. Up till that time, I hope that you enjoyed this episode today. If you have any questions, any feedback, please reach out to me. I would be more than happy to chat with you. If you are interested to be a guest on my show, also, don't hesitate to reach out to me directly by email, Twitter, or LinkedIn. And at the end, don't forget to subscribe on your favorite podcasting platform and tell your friends, family, and colleagues about this podcast. We are trying to get the best of the best. Thank you very much. And until we meet in the next episode.